My wife, Alicia, who is uh, not out on the road with us uh, since starting about a year ago. We, after we had our second boy, Noah, who is um, so cute. Uh, he's 15 months and uh, it's so great. FaceTime has been so good during this tour because um, I think he really gets that it's me. And he always just like picks up whatever random objects are around him. And he's like holding it up to the camera and like, here, look at this. Um, so, um, but we made a decision about a year ago to have Lisha start staying off the road and uh, home with the boys and um, Simon's in school now. And, and uh, it's been really good for our family, but also very bittersweet um, to not have her on the road. Uh, so this one's for her. It's a song called Band of Gold. Um, yeah. um, sometimes, I don't know if we've told it here before. Oh, we've never been here, so probably not. Um, <laughs> uh, so, I was telling the story in uh, Colorado Springs. The first, uh, how I asked Lisha out for the first time, actually. Um, we met in British Columbia. Has anybody been there before? So it's like, basically, you guys are back here. Um, and um, went on a mission trip there. I didn't know her at all. And um, got back home, and my mentor at the time said, um, are you dating anybody? Or looking to? And I said, no, I'm not. Um, no thanks. And he said, uh, well, you should, date, you should date this girl named Alicia Keys. And I said, OK, cool. Um, why? <laughs> and he said, well, I just, he was her youth pastor. So he said, I've never met anybody at her caliber. And I thought, okay, I'm intrigued. So I got my sister, where there was like this youth group leaders thing that I was part of, and we're going to go to this diner afterwards. And so when we got to the diner, I knew Alicia was running late, and I told my sister, you sit there, leave a seat between us, and say you're saving it for Alicia, so that when she gets here, she has to sit next to me. <laughs> so Alicia came, sat next to me, and uh, we hit it off. We basically talked about Narnia for two hours. <laughs> yes, yes. Destined to be. So, um, so anyway, I was planning on asking her out that night, but a few things were against me. Um, it was one of those weird, my plan was to ask her out at her car after. So it was one of those weird lobbies where you, you don't walk right in to the diner. It's like, it makes you choose. Like if I'm walking out of the restaurant, it's like there's no door here. It's just like far side over there, double doors, far side over there. And so when we were all filing out, her side was, my, her car was over there and my car was over there. There was no natural way to walk with her. And so I chickened out and I did not <laughs> follow her. So we get back to the car, it's starting to rain. And my sister, she'd done all this work to save the seat. I said, she, she, she said, so did you ask her out? I said, no, she went that way. Um, and she, I think she did a literal face palm. She was like, so you go that way. So I was like, okay, you're right. So I turned around, started chasing that Alicia. It's turning around a little bit harder. And, um, Unfortunately, Alicia was carrying her 18-year-old brother on her back, and she's like 20. And um, so not optimal conditions for asking her out. Um, so I say, hey, Alicia. And uh, she turns around with Lane still on her, um, her back. And she said, yeah. I said, will you go out with me next week for coffee? And she didn't say anything because her brother uh, didn't miss a beat and said, she's busy. <laughs> okay. Um, they really were busy. They were going on a family trip. But, uh, <laughs> the way he said it, though, <laughs> you punk. Um, so she said, well, you can call me after we get back. And um, so now we're married. So, <laughs> um, yep. um, here's Band of Gold. I told you I was on your 
Can't take away, can't take away what's true. 